In this lesson, we will finish rigging the landing gear. So now we have an idea of how the reaction manager works. Now remember, to truly master this tool, you'll need to use it quite often. Remember, there are several other creative ways we can use this system. So I'd highly recommend you become more and more familiar with it because it will help you to create better rigs. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up here. We need to choose our master parameter. This time it's going to be the landing gear front channel. So let's go ahead and navigate to it. There it is. We have a clean slate now. Let's go ahead and add our slave object, which is the landing gear pad. So we'll go ahead and we will add the zero position Z and X. We're essentially adding the same parameters. So next is going to be the zero position X. And the last one we need to add for this object will be zero Euler Z. Okay, we know that once all items have been added, we need to go to our master channel and set that to its max value. And now we can enter into create mode and start to tweak our slave object. Of course, you don't always need to go to the max value. It's the value you'd like your object to be at at that certain point. So if you notice that the landing gear was not exactly at the point you'd like it to be when you reached a value of, let's say, 60%, well, then you could go to 60%, then you can create a new state. So when you get to that value of 60, the landing gear does something different based off of what you, what you decide. All right, so this looks pretty good. Might want to translate this forward a bit in the x-axis, maybe rotate it up a bit more in the z. Great, and I'd say it's just about there. I'll bring it up a bit more in the x and up in the z. Wonderful. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new state, exit create mode, and test this out. So now when we grab our animation control and start to adjust our slider, there we have it. All right, so what do we have left to do? Well, we have the pistons to work on. We also have this arm. What I'm going to do is show you how to work on the, the pistons, and that'll give you an idea of how to take care of the arm. It's going to be really repetitive if we work on both. So I'm going to go ahead and get things started for you uh, for the arm but for the pistons we'll go ahead and take care of them in this lesson so the first thing we'd want to look at is the pivot point so you can see for the pistons we actually have an ideal pivot point it's at the the base of each rod if you ever needed to adjust your pivot it's very simple to do in max it's just a matter of selecting your object heading over to the hierarchy panel now you can go ahead and turn on effect pivot only and you can move the pivot wherever you'd like once you turn this off that's the new pivot point that has been saved if you notice that the pivot is still not in that spot remember you just want to go to your pivot settings and make sure you're using the top choice from pivot center so sometimes as we use different gizmos you might find that one gizmo has been set to a different pivot point all right, so we just want to make sure that top option is used. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you another really cool tool here. If we were to go ahead and turn on effect pivot only, you can use center to object now to center the pivot to the selected object. So if your pivot is far from where it needs to be, you could always bring it back to the origin of the object by using center to object, and then you can adjust it wherever you'd like. Very important though, once your pivot has been changed, you want to save those changes by freezing your transforms. I'm going to go ahead and undo back to where the pivot should be for this object where it started from. And then we want to go in and make sure that the orange pieces are linked to the silver rods. So we're just adjusting two objects instead of four. All right, so just to test this out, if we were to go to our 
rods here we could start to rotate them and they are going to move just fine all right excellent so now after we've adjusted our pivots and linked our objects we would want to select all objects that we've modified alt right click and choose friend uh, freeze transform all right there we go not friend but freeze transform <laughs> that way again all of these changes have been collapsed and that will make sure that the rods stay in the exact spot they need to be in when we start to adjust things in the reaction manager all right so let's say we go ahead and start to work with the reaction manager now we only need the silver pieces added so let's go ahead and select both of them we need to figure out the two axes we'd like to modify that's going to be the Y for rotation for our move tool that's going to also be our Y axis so that'll make things easy for us we already have our master channel set to zero we need to make sure that it's selected on the top section in reactions and now we can go ahead and add our slave parameters so that's going to be transform position zero y and we'll also go in and add transform rotation zero Euler y okay so next we need to go ahead and adjust our master parameter we could go ahead and set this to 100 percent I'll also go to the canopy I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up to it's max of negative 100 so we could go ahead and take a look at the objects we need to adjust alright so here we could go ahead and select the silver pieces of the piston let's go ahead and enter create mode and let's start to adjust these so that we no longer see them so I might start by just rotating them down in the Y axis away from the center of the aircraft alright great it looks like the orange pieces are poking through just slightly so now we can go to our move tool and just lift the, the two rods up just slightly alright so can't see them from the cockpit can't see them from the, the landing gear piece so I'd say we're good to go we could go ahead and create our state and exit create mode let's go ahead and take a look so now when we go ahead and grab the animation control and start to adjust the front landing gear we should notice some really nice behavior from our pistons very exciting alright so we would want to do the same thing for the arm here again we want the pivot point of the lower part of this arm to be right here at the the center point of this this little bolt that locks the arm to our landing pad so we just want to make sure that we modify our pivot to that point then for this piece in the center its pivot should be ideal for this piece above it might be best to keep the pivot right here at the center where the elbow of the arm would be so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and adjust the pivot point of these these objects the top of the arm and the lower arm and then I'll go ahead and leave the rest up to you to add to the reaction manager by the next lesson you could take a look at the choices that I made to make sure that the arm folds in correctly it might be best to go to the side view to adjust the pivot point here so I'm starting with the lower part of the arm we can now go to our hierarchy panel turn on effect pivot only again if you need to center the the pivot you could always use center to object this is a starting point and then we could go ahead and start to adjust the pivot so that it's right in the center of this bolt okay so that looks good we can now go to the top of the arm and we could start to adjust this so that it is right at the center of where the elbow would be okay so now we could go ahead and exit effect pivot only we could go ahead and select the two pieces that we've modified if you have not frozen transforms on the elbow object it might be a good idea to also freeze its transforms just to be on the safe side so we could select all three alt right click and choose freeze transform alright so what this means is that we are going to need to add all three objects 
So let's make sure we do that. Let's make sure we're using the right axis. I'll go ahead and stop the lesson here. And in the next lesson, we can move on to a new topic.